LA Metro is getting $900 million in federal funds for the 2028 Summer Olympics. Here in LA, the bulk of that money will go toward two major metro projects to help visitors and athletes get around town. NBC4's Conan Nolan in the newsroom now with more on these projects. Conan. That's right. Remember the last time Los Angeles was the host of the Olympic Games, the Olympics made a profit, $250 million in profit. In fact, that's one of the reasons we're having it in 2028. And the argument has been that whatever the public expenditure will be, it will be for projects that will, we will need well after the games are over. Outside the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum, a reminder, it's just 1,563 days away. The greatest athletes in the world will compete in Los Angeles at this Coliseum and in stadiums throughout Southern California. They will be at their best, and they expect us to be at our best. To that goal, city and state leaders celebrated the arrival of $900 million from Washington, targeted for transit projects ahead of the 2028 Olympic Games, the lion's share of which will go to two metro projects, sections two and three of the D-Line, formerly known as the Purple Line Extension, the fabled subway to the sea, as well as light rail in the San Fernando Valley. Yes, the slight rail in the San Fernando Valley. Can you tell I'm from the valley? <laughs> Getting around wasn't all that big an issue during LA's first Olympic Games at the newly built Coliseum in 1932. Back then, traffic wasn't a problem as the region had the most extensive public transit system in the nation. 52 years later, the red car lines had been pulled out. Freeways took their place. Once again today, you can get around on the freeways of Los Angeles. Few enough cars on the roads that even the smog is under control. But Angelino stayed off the roads during the 1984 Summer Olympic Games. Metro's predecessor, the Rapid Transit District, rose to the occasion. It has been so smooth. All we can say is thank God for the machinery. But this time, it's not just simply about getting people to and from Stadia, such as the seven and a half miles between the Coliseum and Inglewood SoFi Stadium, both home to dual opening and closing ceremonies. Central to the effort is to jumpstart the transitioning from a car-centric region to one of mass transportation, of which it was known a century ago. Los Angeles Mayor Karen Bass. I look forward to more accessibility and easier travel for Metro's current riders and for future riders as we continue preparing to be on the world stage. Karen Bass just recently returned from Paris, where, of course, they're the host of the 2024 Olympic Games. She said one of the lessons she learned from the ones putting on that games is that there's no time to waste four years is soon upon us. I'm Conan Nolan, NBC4 News.